Hey, welcome to the Crunchy Ginger. Today I'm going to help you make one small change in your house that's gonna save you a lot of money and it's going to help you towards your goal of being more natural, a little bit crunchier, and that is making your own hand soap. Hand soap is expensive. Hand soap um, without all the parabens, without all of the garbage in it, without artificial fragrances is expensive at the store, um, but we can make our own for really cheap using a couple of ingredients. You have to have two ingredients, Castile soap and distilled water. Or if you don't have distilled water, you can boil water for five minutes to kill any sort of microbes or little organisms living in it and use that instead. Um, so basically this is a one ingredient that you might not have recipe that will save you tons of money. All we need to do it is a dispenser, a container. It can be an upcycled container from a hand soap that you've already, you've already used, bought at the store. Um, just wash it out, wash out the pump that goes with it also, or you can buy a reusable um, container. This one is like a glass mason jar container. The thing I like about this one is that it's got, um, it's got measurement markings on the side, so whenever you need to whip up a batch of this really fast, you don't even have to have any measuring utensils. So we'll start with um, the Castile soap, and this is Dr. Bronner's Castile soap, which you can find really anywhere. You can find it at your health food store, you can find it at Target, um, you can find it online at Amazon if that's where you like to shop. Um, a, a larger bottle like this, about 32, this is 32 fluid ounces, is going to run you probably about 15 bucks depending on the retailer. Um, they also, it also comes in smaller sizes. This one is the, um, an unscented. This one, it, it says Hemp Baby Unscented Pure Castile Soap. And for ca Castile Soap, for people who have never used it before, is a vegetable soap. It's made of vegetable oils. Um, <clears throat> For that reason, it's incredibly versatile and it's also really gentle on your skin. Uh, Alright, so let's get started. One of the great things about making your own hand soap is that you can use essential oils if you have them to, to make it smell any way you want. Or if you want it to be completely fragrance free, you can use the, the fragrance free unscented Castile soap. We're going to start with using the unscented one. And I'm going, to, I'm going to use about a quarter cup, which on this container is this line right here, about a quarter cup. This jar is a pint size, so about two cups total. So this is about the ratio I like to use. You just squeeze it right in there like that. And if you just want it to be unscented, or if you're using a Castile soap in another fragrance, this one has peppermint essential oil, they make them with lavender essential oil. Um, Oh gosh, there's a couple other ones that I'm, I can't think of. There's a couple other fragrances as well. You can use those and just do the water and then you've got a scented thing, it's easy. If you want to use, um, if you want to use essential oils, like this is lavender, we can add a few drops to our container now. For a container this size, you're probably gonna wanna use 10 to 15 drops of essential oil. Um, and when I say drop, I mean literally a drop. One, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, 13, 14. Three essential oils. I know that a lot of people really love their subscription brands, and I'm sure that they're really great. I personally don't use those. I use uh, essential oils that I buy at the health food store. I really like the brand Oracacia. Um, they're not sponsoring this. I just actually really like them. I find it to be affordable and widely available. Um, if you have other ones that you like, by all means. Um, and if you have blends that you like, that can work great too. Um, just make sure that whatever it is that you're using is something that's safe for everybody in your family. So do a little bit of research if you kind of go off script and do different kinds of um, essential oil blends. I find that lavender is really good for everybody in my family. Um, peppermint's also a nice one, especially in the winter time. My son really likes that one. We also really like um, doing a little bit of mix of both of those. Those are kind of our favorite ones. Lemon can be really nice for the for the kitchen or other citrus, lime, or however you like it. Um, so after you've added your essential oil, if you want to, now this is just like an upgraded version of this, you don't have to, you can add a squirt or two of your favorite carrier oil. And by carrier oil, I mean something like fractionated coconut oil, which is the liquid kind, not like the solid kind. Um, if you put solid coconut oil in here, I mean, it's not really going <laughs> to mix very well, so I don't think that's your best choice. Um, I really love jojoba oil. It's this one that's spelled jojoba. It's actually jojoba oil. Um, I like this one for all sorts of stuff, for, for skin, for nails, for hair, for after shower, but it's really good in 
um, in this hand soap as well. You can use a little squirt of olive oil if that's what you've got. Sweet almond oil. All of these sorts of carrier oils, these skin oils, are going to be nice in here. But you don't have to. Just kind of an upgraded version. The last step for our hand soap is to add our water. To make things easier, I like to keep around a jug like this of distilled water. A jug like this is going to cost a dollar or less at any grocery store, and it just kind of saves me the stuff of having to boil the water and cool the water. Um, so I find the convenience of having like a dollar jug of water is, is better for me than having to remember to do the uh, boil the water. So I just fill this up the rest of the way, just like that. Screw your lid on and give it a gentle shake. I do find that um, as this sort of sits on the counter, um, from time to time, if you kind of shake it up a little bit before you use it, it will sort of help remix the, the oils together. Um, but that's it. And now you've got a great jar of soap for the f a fraction of the cost of what it, of what it takes to buy um, a, natural, a natural hand soap at the store. When you use this, you should note that it comes out a little bit liquidy. So... When we first started using this, we needed to remind my son to not put his face right in front of it. So if you've got little people in your house, um, and it lathers up great. I don't, you can see I don't really have any water on my hands, but you can see it makes a really nice um, soothing lather. I can feel the moisturizer in there. And that's it. A frugal, natural, homemade hand soap that's going to save you and your family a ton of money. If you like this video and you want to see more, you want to learn more small changes that you and your family can make towards being a little greener, um, subscribe. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you put in your hand soap, which oils you like, and which combinations of fragrances work best for your family. Thanks for watching.